My name is Marshall Happer and tonight, which is 2018, I'm going to be honored to present Laura DuPont for induction into the Southern Tennis Hall of Fame. Laura unfortunately passed away in 2002 and with me to tonight and representing Laura and the DuPont family is Laura's sister Suzette DuPont Wright. And we're very pleased and happy to be here to present Laura to the Southern Tennis Hall of Fame. North Carolina has had a lot of great female tennis players, but even as today, as of today, 2018, there's never been a female tennis player from, from the state of North Carolina who's equal the record of Laura DuPont uh, as she did in her career. Now, Laura was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1949, and she was an extremely gifted athlete. She was the best baseball player on her brother's Little League baseball team. She joined a recreational tennis league in Louisville and soon became the city champion. And when the, when the family moved to Charlotte, and when Laura was in the 10th grade, she became, she scored uh, average 30 points, a, 38 points a game in basketball in high school, while she was also becoming the North Carolina junior champion in the 18s and the 16 and under age divisions. What Laura did is when the family moved to Charlotte, they joined Old Providence Tennis Club, which was the first pure tennis club in North Carolina. And it became not only the, the most important tennis club in North Carolina, it became one of the, the leading tennis clubs in the country because it had professional tournaments every year for both men and women. And it had a great cadre of very good men players who loved to play with Laura because she, she could hold her own with them. She worked hard and she was a delight for them to play with. That's the way you learned how to play tennis in the 1960s because you didn't have a lot of professional instruction and Laura was doing it her own way and, and on her own. Uh, after she left high school, she went to Greensboro College, which she had to do for two years before going to the University of North Carolina in those days. Uh, she won the state adult championships while she was at Greensboro College. And then she went to the University of North Carolina where, where tennis for girls was treated as a second class sport because Title IX that equalized women's, women's sports with men's sports wasn't effective until 1972. So when Laura goes to Carolina in 1970, it's treated a little bit as a second class sport. As, as a female tennis player at, North Carolina, at the University of North Carolina, she never lost a match. She practiced with the men's team. And as a matter of fact, Coach Skakel of the men's team tried to get her authorized to play for the men, but she couldn't. But uh, she also practiced with uh, Billy Trott, who is now the president of the North Carolina Tennis Association, who had played tennis at Carolina and was the assistant tennis coach there. The coach, Francis Hogan, of the women's team went to the athletic department and begged them to send Laura to the National Collegiate Championships in New Mexico. And she said, if you'll just send her, she's going to win the tournament. And lo and behold, they agreed finally to send her, and she won the tournament. She beat Linda Tuero of Tulane in three hard sets to, become the, to win the first National Women's Collegiate Championships for the University of North Carolina. That made Laura DuPont the first All-American female for the University of North Carolina. She turned pro in 1972 and had a 12-year, very good professional career, reaching a career high of number nine in the world. Now, I tell my non-tennis friends that reaching number nine in the world is about as tough as getting in the Super Bowl or getting in the World Series of Baseball. You're competing against the best tennis athletes in the world from six continents and 30 plus countries. So it was a great thing. She won the U.S. National Clay Courts in Indianapolis. She won the German Open in Hamburg, and she won the, uh, the uh, Canadian Open in 1979. Uh, but most importantly, if you saw Battle of the Sexes movie, you saw that the, the, the women were having a hard time getting started in professional tennis. When, when they, the very first women's professional tour was 1971, just one year before Laura turned pro. The WTA was formed in 1973, and for 10 years, Laura was elected as an officer and director of the Women's Tennis Association. In 1975, she actually was instrumental 
and developing the first computer rankings for women's professional tennis. So Laura, Laura DuPont not only was a great player, she was a very important contributor to the, format, to the formation of women's professional tennis. So today when Billie Jean King says she was a fabulous player both on and off the court, uh, and incidentally, she loved to, Billie Jean loved to play golf with Laura because Laura was also a scratch golfer. But Laura, Laura DuPont got cancer and passed away at age 52 in 19, I mean in 2002. And she survived by her mother, Pauline, who's, who's 101 years old. And while she, she's not traveling to, able to travel to the Hall of Fame induction, her daughter, or Suzanne, who's with me tonight, is going to accept on behalf of Laura. Laura DuPont has been inducted into the North Carolina Tennis Hall of Fame in 1977, the Charlotte High School Hall of Fame in 2000, the Na National Women's Collegiate Hall of Fame in 2002, and in May of 2018, she's also going to be inducted into the North Carolina All Sports Hall of Fame in front of about 1,500 people. So I'm very proud to present Laura DuPont for induction into the Southern Tennis Hall of Fame and introduce her sister, Suzette DuPont Wright, who's with me tonight. Thank you.